Hello, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. I hope you're doing super fantabulous. If you're new to my channel, where have you been? We've been looking for you, okay? <laughs> Make sure you stick around. It'll be a great time. If you like tarot, if you like to have fun, if you like to laugh, and if you like to know what's going to be going on the next month, you should stick around. If you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, and lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. With that being said, if you enjoy this, come on over to Instagram. We go live 5.30 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on Tuesdays for happy hour, okay? We do readings. We give away readings. It is fun. Now, the way these are going to go, we have a general oracle, general in love, a general in, with singles, couples, and then all signs, all right? So let's jump into what's going on. We start off this month on the 4th with the new moon in Leo, 12 degrees, and you are focused on prosperity. Ew. And we are moving forward. We're making things happen. We're also focused on abundance at this time. Venus entering into Virgo on that day also is going to heighten the way that you're looking at how you're showing up in the world, paying attention to the details, and getting to the nitty gritty. Okay? On the 5th, prepare yourself because we have Mercury retrograde, 4 degrees Virgo. This is just a time to simply readdress, reassess... <laughs> and reconnect if you want to four degrees makes me think about the foundation virgo again paying attention to details very detail oriented energy focusing on getting your plans together now on the 14th mercury retrograde will then chasse all over to leo all right and it's gonna be having a good time over there we'll see what goes on that day now on the 19th you have the full moon in aquarius now it's 27 degrees 27 comes down to a nine we're finally deciding it's time to end something nines for me are endings and you're really focused on boundaries and you're sitting there and you're protecting yourself this is going to be a good time to clear your energy do a protection ritual a cleansing ritual and just do what it is that you need to do to make yourself feel that your boundaries are being respected also on that day, we have an interesting square between Jupiter and Saturn. Jupiter in Gemini, 17 degrees, and Saturn in Pisces, 17 degrees. A square is significant to challenges, okay? So we want to expand, but there could be some structures, some rules, some things that are getting in the way, some things that you need to pay attention to in order to grow and develop. The thing to focus on with this is going to be a leg up. This signifies asking for help, accepting help, going for the gold, going for it, going for that position, striking forward. But this is asking for help, maybe even seeking out guidance or even a mentor during this time. All right. And then on the 21st is an important day because it is my 44th birthday. Yeah. <laughs> So if you want to send me a birthday wish, please do. It would make my day. And also, if you want to send a gift, you can look at my Amazon wish list or just better yet, send me a birthday wish because I love those. Anyways, on the 22nd is Virgo season. No more Leo season. And on the 28th, this is Mercury going direct and Leo 21 degrees. So we are getting back into the swing of things. However, we are still in that shadow period. Okay. On the 29th, Venus is entering into Libra. Libras might be looking hellified really good. Whenever Venus is in your sign, you just look really, really good. All right, let's jump into this. Your first card is going to be that of the first house. You're very focused on the way you show up. You're also very proud of who you are. You might change your look a little bit. You're standing out more. But whenever we stand out more, we need to protect ourselves. And that's what these, these antlers are about, okay? Protecting who you are, protecting what you stand for which leads us to algas, okay? And this is your rune. And again, it is tied to the elk. So I do think that the elk does have a message for you. It's like stand your ground this month. Don't let anyone push in on the boundaries, okay? Now, this energy with this, uh, with this rune is tied to protection, assistance, and your color is gold. So you're working a lot on your confidence, all right? Now, your animal energy is that of el maranito, okay? This is the pig energy, baby. This is all about maintaining your self-worth and self-esteem. This is the month that you really stand up for yourself. The pig is also significant to finances. Think about the piggy bank, so stay full, all right? Keep that money together, baby. And when it comes to love, right, when we're talking about love, we're focused on the second house, our resources also, but we're connecting everything. We're connecting our will, our wisdom, and our mind. So it's like mind, body, and soul. Like we want it all, okay? We're not settling anymore. We're not allowing certain things to happen. We're not giving anyone a second chance that doesn't deserve it. And we're also putting ourselves first this month. 
very important things coming in for you pay attention to the second and the seventh this month so far those are going to be standout days that you could possibly get any information or just an important day for you so this part of the read where you get a yes or no question the overall energy is that of the seven of cups so you're not sure about this you're gonna take your time okay we don't have to make immediate decisions all the time we can take our time so for question number one question number one for the energy are you ready this is going to be a definite yes you are the apple of their eye you have got the prize you are the three of wands you're moving forward and that tower is not gonna fall you got this okay for question number two, I'm going to say this is a yes also, but it's going to take a lot of work for you. This is the eight of pentacles. And I feel like everybody's watching you. Everybody wants to see what you're doing and what you're about, okay? Because you look good, Taurus. You're looking good. <laughs> All right, let's get into our general reading. What does, oop, what does Taurus need to know? Let's start off with some oracle cards. So, Taurus, let's see, general, let's see, some general energies for Taurus, what do we need to know? We got a date night coming up, okay? Get ready to be one, done, and 69, all right? We it might lead to a commitment, ew, 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 but it's not the right time, okay? So, we need to better assess the situation, which cards do I use? I'm going to use these because they're already out. Date night. What do you got for us? We got soulmates. There's a possible meeting this month. You're going to go out. You're going to feel really close. And a date could even be with your bestie, okay? You just feel very connected with this individual. Things are getting serious. Someone is going to be very interested in you. They want to snuggle you. They like you a lot. It's not the right time. Okay, for those that hurt your boundaries, that are crossing those boundaries, avoiding you're avoiding conversation, or maybe they are, you're still upset about it. No, don't contact them. No, don't, um, don't accept their phone calls, you know? It's called a boundary for a reason. <laughs> it, it's yours, and that's all that matters, all right? So your first card is the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles does have a message for you. There could be a lot going on with work. Whatever you're working on is really going to be successful right now. I love his face. <laughs> and strength. So you have the strength to do whatever it is that you want to do in order to move ahead. The Eighth could be very important for you also because that number keeps popping up. You could also be seen 888. And that's a lot for prosperity, okay? We have the tower coming in for you. So we're working on something, we're strong enough, and then we have a breakthrough or a breakdown. One of the two, baby, one of the two. But we get our footing and we're balanced. We're okay with the two of pentacles, all right? To the queen of pentacles, because we know our worth and we're not gonna let that happen. So I really feel like, okay, I, I feel like you went on a date, you're gonna meet somebody, it feels good, and then somebody wants to come back in the picture or start asking questions, and it kind of breaks you down a little bit, but then you, you're like, wait a minute, no, I know who I am and I know what I'm about. Overall energy is the queen of wands. You know, damn dirty Taurus, you looking good, baby. You looking real good this month, all right? So let's get a little bit of clarity here. I think I'm going to use the same deck. I'm going to pull in this tower real quick just for those. I don't want you to panic. The four swords. See, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Sit back and watch it go down, okay? Broken promises possibly that someone has done. And you're like, nope, not today. You're not going to play with me. So there could be a situation where somebody wanted to play games or this person would decide, oh, I changed my mind. I want to come back. And you're just, you're just not having it. You're ready to move forward with the Wheel of Fortune. All right. So let's jump in. And this could be in love. This could be in family. This could be in any type of relationship. All righty. So, time to look at our beautiful singles. What do our singles need to know? Singles and ready to mingle. Let's go, let's go, let's do this, Taurus. All right, let's see what's Taurus's energy. Gambling. We could be dealing with somebody who has problems with um, finances or loves to gamble, okay? Someone is unavailable, so it's time to keep it moving, all right? And health issues could arise. So pay attention to your health this month, okay? Take good care of yourself. And overall, find out more information before you get yourself all worked out with the caution card. Mm, mucho cuidado. <clears throat> I almost choked. All right. Someone wants to reach out to you. We got the love call. Expressing love and messages of love. Someone's thinking about you. 
Then when the move on card, we have clarity and truth, honor and protection. So I feel like you're going to get the clarity that you need and you are going to move on. Like you're like, you know what? No, this is not for me. And that's okay, right? Health wise, attraction, teasing, <sighs> hooking up, third party. Be very careful with that. This person that you could be hooking up with because this is for the caution card could be wearing a mask. I would say a little take it easy this month. Don't rush into anything. Take your time getting to know the person, okay? All right, let's see what we got here. When it comes to love for Taurus, sun, moon, and rising, what do they need to know this month? So at the bottom of your read, we have the five of swords. Get out of your head, friend. Get out of your head. Put them boundaries down with the nine of wands. You cannot pass go. You cannot collect $200. Sorry. Bye. And overall, we got the sun. Something's going to be revealed, and the answer is also yes. I also feel that there is also talk of a trip, okay? You might be going on a trip, coming back from a trip, but there's something about going on a trip, baby. We are releasing indecision. Pay attention to who you listen to this month and what you're listening to. You want to do a lot of um, building yourself up. Look at the music that you're listening to also, okay? And the overall for love, we have the emperor. Ah, somebody's got their eye on you, all right? Somebody very strong and virile. Okay. However, we're feeling a little bit about the five of pentacles. We feel a little left out. We feel like something's not working out for us. Now, I do see a 55 in your read. So there could be a lot of changes coming in for you. And you know, what I see here, when I'm looking at this, it's like you have to really pay attention to what you're replaying in your head. Okay, so if you're telling the same story over and over, like, I'm not good enough, this is never going to work, nobody likes me, I might as well go eat worms. No, Taurus, no, no, we got to change that story, okay? Get, get, into, get into your solar plexus. Gold and yellow are going to be your color, okay? So what's going on here with the Five of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles? So somebody wants to work this out with you, but it's like on their terms, right? They're very controlling energy, Knight of Swords, and that makes you feel like we don't even talk anymore. So I also feel like this person could have had some financial issues or maybe they relied on you too much financially and you're putting up that boundary like, no, I'm not going to pay for it this time. I'm not going to do this this time, okay? Nine of Wands says the chariot. You are going on a trip, my love bug. Temperance to the Four of Cups. I also feel like somebody was supposed to go on a trip with you. That's not going to happen because you're not going to cover the cost. You're also not the doormat anymore. Also be careful with drinking and driving this month as you know, something's going to happen. Call the Uber, baby. I love Ubers, okay? I love me some Uber. Meet some really cool people in the Uber. Anyways, the sun. What does the sun have for you? A major decision with judgment is coming in, okay? And that was so cool how I went into like, and then she showed up the cherub, right? So it's like a revelation. You make a choice, a decision. Something's coming through for you very, very strong because you want love with the ace of cups. You're like, nope. I'm not here for this third party. I'm not here for this quick, quickie, sticky, Mr. Whatever. <laughs> I know what I want, okay? And so that full moon that's coming in could also like really trigger you in a way. And when I say trigger, I don't mean in a negative way. It really makes you think about what is it that you truly want, okay? Because you're making a big decision. The Two of Swords says we're changing our ways with death. Transformation. All right, look, I said it, there's his sword. We're cutting it off. There's a lot of majors in your read so far, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a very pivotal month for you. This is something that you need to pay attention to. The death with the magician, this is a major change, major boundaries, and we are in control. And so we're cutting off those cords of attachment to something that no longer fulfills our spirit, okay? The emperor wants you to know they know who you are with the Queen of Pentacles. They know they want that, okay? We'll see who this person is. Nine of Wands. They're like, don't, don't say too much, boo. Don't say too much. I got you. All right? We're going to make this work. We're going to build on this. We want to work. We want to develop. This person could even work with you, but this person sees a future with you, okay? Not just... Not just fun, not just fun, okay? Five of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. I feel like there's also going to be a situation where somebody's coming on really, really strong and they're like talking and going and all of a sudden they just cut you off. And you're like, I don't understand what that's about. And then when they come back, you see how you're like, 
Not even interested anymore. All right. But look what I got with the devil. Look what I got. And you're like, no, I'm good. <laughs> And be glad you didn't do it, okay? Be glad you didn't do it because you're going to realize that this individual really did not have your best interest at hand. So there's a lot of revelations coming in for you this month. You're, you're also working on your solar plexus, your confidence. You are ready to fall in love. There's major turnabouts coming this month for you. Um, you do have a secret admirer, possibly from a work situation or someone who want to work it out with you, Taurus. What? I like it. I like it, Taurus. And with that being said, I also get this vibe of like whoever it is that wants to come back from the past. You guys talked a lot. Like it was really, really quick. They do have financial issues or they like to gamble. OK, and I think when they come back for you, you're just kind of like you've locked the door. This is no Bruno Mars leaves the door open. The door is locked, okay? And I got the key. Taurus says it's locked and I got the key. You can't come in. You cannot come in anymore. We've changed the locks, okay? So Taurus, there is a love interest coming in. There is someone from the past. And we're going to look into both of those, okay? Okay. How does this person from, no, how does this person from the past feel? How are they going to approach Taurus? How are they going to approach Taurus? And then let's get done with their energy after this. What is, what is this person from the past got to say to you? I know that we have a soul connection. Okay, I want to make you smile. I miss your smile. I want to make you happy. I want to hold you. I got to get to have you. I should have fought for you. I've been working on myself. And I'm ready to take my mask off. Look, didn't I tell you the mask came out earlier? And overall, I want to make things right. So this person is coming in saying all the right things. And I think that's why we have to get more information. We really need to be aware of what's going on before we commit to anything. So let's get clues on how does this person look? How do they look? How does the new person look? Who's coming in to offer some love to Taurus? What do they look like? Hmm, we got very feminine energy, Taurus energy. We have the journal or the book. Okay, this person could wear glasses. This person could have lots of Gemini energy. This person likes to talk. They could wear glasses and contacts. Very smart, very studious individual. The Skype, okay, or the sickle. This person has a very significant tattoo or scar. They're very, they're very curvy, okay. Slim, I call it slim thick. Scorpio energy. All right, let's get one more. We've got Leo. They got a chubby little cute face. They're all up in it. They want to talk to you. They just love you, okay. They admire you. Yeah. Okay, let's see here. What do we have here? What do we have here? The lady energy. What is this lady energy about? We have the 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 web design. I'm gonna say the wild wild west. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. Anyways, this makes me think like online communication. This person could also work in the IT field. Okay. That also goes back to if you're seeing a lot of eights because the the spider is very much tied to prosperity with the eight. All right, so the bomber jacket. They make you feel really safe and secure. They have a lot of knowledge. They're very kind. Oh, the sickle and this symbol. Okay, so let's talk about this. There is something a little dangerous about this person, okay? So maybe it's like a colleague at work and you're like, I don't date people I work with. There's something that's like, oh, you're like, I don't know about this, okay? And then the locket, they can dress. They are a looker. They like to dress well, smell well. They're a Leo. They know all about the finer things in life, okay? And so do you, Taurus. You're a fixed sign, just like them. You guys are going to get along just a gravy, baby. All right? So let's jump into our beautiful couples, okay? What do our couples have going on this month? These are people who, who like, are dating or married or know each other, just not up here. It's not that person up there. <laughs> but take the parts that fit, okay? <laughs> take the parts that fit. Remember, this is not a personal reading. We're tapping into the energies. So what doesn't fit, leave it for someone else, okay? We have an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Then we have a narcissist, someone who's a little bit full of themselves. And I would like to say this. I do believe that word is very much overly used. 
So I like to say narcissistic tendencies, okay? So someone who's too full of themselves, they just, you know, make you feel like you don't measure up to them. And then again, problems with finances or gambling. Then we have date night, so it's time to get that date night right, boo, all right? What does the air sign energy want them to know? Addiction. That's very interesting because we do have the gambling card. So codependent relationships, obsession, possession, and emotional block. Let's see, narcissist. Needing time, okay? Needing some time. Cycles take time. Time to heal. Maybe you're healing from a past relationship like that, okay? And the person with the addiction and gambling, they're like, can we get married? Because, Taurus, you're real good with some money, friend. <laughs> and some of y'all, that relationship is over, okay? There's something that's going to end. Um, and it could be that you're just tired of pulling the weight of this individual. It's just not healthy for you anymore. And you've changed your mind. And that's okay. All right, let's see. What is Taurus's person thinking right now? They are not sure what to do. Seven of Cups. This also ties into that addiction and gambling issue. This person could have a lot of vices. Muchos vicios, okay? Like, you're starting to be like, I don't know about you, okay? They are thinking of the Page of Pentacles, so they see you as something new, shiny, great, you know? Or maybe if they, we'll look at all the energies that come through and get the whole story. How do they see you? The Six of Cups. They just think that you're very stable, secure. Um, you're all reliable. That's what that makes me think of is all reliable. All reliable Taurus. I can always count on Taurus. There is a lot of conflict going on. And then it fell right under that addiction card. So I do feel like you're like, mm, I don't know about you, buddy. Two of Pentacles is what comes between you. There's a balancing. I also feel like because he's on that egg, walking on eggshells. You're done with that. And we're going to heal with the star, okay? Well, there's hope. There's hope. Overall energy, we got the King of Wands. Eow, Iris Leo says, got the eye on you, okay? This individual comes in as a very passionate individual, okay? So let's break this down. Let's see what's going on with the Seven of Cups. Where are my cards? Right in front of me. This Seven of Cups here with the Five of Cups is something from the past that keeps resurfacing. It's something that makes you feel like it's not right. You know we need to move forward with the wheel. The energy is moving. Things are changing. But they see you as this empress energy. They're just like, damn, I want to just pull it together. I want to I want to make it right. This is I want to do this. I want to do this. And maybe y'all are talking about, do we want to have kids? You know, they want to grow with you. Seven of Pentacles. Now, I do see two sevens here. So I'm going to see what is the what's somebody lying about? We have the moon. So there is a secret that's spreading. Someone's going to say something. It's something that's spreading, something that's going to go forward, and it could be coming from a friend, okay, or a, a fake-ass friend, okay? Mm. Mm. Aquarius energy with the dog, okay? Doesn't mean it has to be their sign. So they see a lot of success, and then I have the Queen of Swords right here. They love being with you, but they know that you will not play the game. You are not, you don't care how much you love them, like... Taurus, you're like, look, enough, <laughs> enough, I, I don't care, and this keeps them conflicted, five of pentacles, some financial issues, it's got to change, they know it's got to change, they don't know how they're going to change it, what is this two of pentacles about, two of pentacles, what do you have for them? The three of swords, you feel betrayed by it. Now, I am not one of those readers that's going to say, oh, it's the three of swords. He's a cheater. You got a cheater in the house. No. Three of swords for me is significant to something that really hurts. And it could even be that you can't believe they did something financially. You can't believe they told their friend a secret. You can't believe something was said or they told, they said something, even to a family member. And you're just really betrayed by it. Three of swords. Give me some more. We're going to heal, though. We got the double star here. So the 17th could be very important for you. I have too much stuff over here. It's bothering me. Now, remember you had algae, okay? So that's a really good symbol. I just saw it right now. It's a really good symbol to put on a ca um, candle, a good symbol to kind of draw somewhere so that you can see that energy and call in that energy, all right? 
All right, what does this double star have for them? What are we healing from? The song Computer Love just came in my head. I know, I'm old. The tower. Whatever it was that shook y'all up, that, that tower is coming, okay? So we have a major decision to make about it. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Whatever it is, I feel like, Taurus, you just don't like the fact that everybody knows what's going on. You don't want anyone to know what's going on, and it's bothering you. King of Wands, what do you have for us? The Six of Pentacles, they want to make it right. There's also something about abundance and something coming in from the past. It could be a situation. It could have been like a financial thing, but it's coming back, okay? And it's not good, all right? It's not good. Okay, we got the devil energy. Um, temptation could also be there. And then we have the hermit. So we need to just sit back and wait just a little bit longer, especially if this is a relationship that we really love each other with the two of cups. Now, I am not one to stay, say, oh, you need to stay in a toxic situation. If this is a toxic situation, then you know what you got to do. However, everybody has different situations going on. And what I'm really seeing here is there are some financial issues that are causing problems in the relationship. There's also this sense of maybe not telling the complete truth truth someone isn't being completely honest about what they've been doing or what's been going on financially or how whatever okay I ain't, your, I ain't your business but that energy really is not healthy okay it's not healthy and we need to heal the star is a really beautiful card because it talks about healing there was a lot of Aquarius energy in there for you so you could be dealing with somebody who has Aquarius sun moon or rising or something happened in Aquarius season Pay attention to that full moon in Aquarius. So we have the fox coming through for you to the ring. Somebody is really looking at your commitment, okay? There is also a business contract coming in. Pay attention to your health. Your commitment is stable with that tree by the ring. You are going to come into a lucky situation financially, okay? You are very stable and grounded. Your finances are going to be okay. But I feel like you have a lot of people watching what you're doing, and just be aware of that energy, okay? Just be aware of it. I'm not going to sit here and be paranoid about it. But you're going to get very lucky financially. And it could be from a family situation or a business situation with the fox and the tree showing up. Okay? All right. Let's give you some oracle guidance for them as they move forward in this relationship. What do they need to know? Rest and rejuvenation. We got to take a step back. Finances are going to be okay. Okay. There is a lot of love in that situation. We have to make sure that we're not mirroring each other, okay? We're not mirroring each other's energy. We probably are because we're in a relationship. And there's something about financials, um, maybe not sharing that with everybody, okay? We, we don't we have to share that. And prayer is going to be very important. It always is. But this is also saying that the door to your spiritual guidance is there. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to pray. Don't be afraid to, um, to meditate. Because there are some really tough decisions that you're going to be making this month. All right? So, with that, let's get into the signs you know oh, oh, throwing the cards around now i am using my favorite deck in the whole wide world okay did i flip them Jeez, my favorite deck in the whole wide world okay and that is beautiful babylonian tarot this is the first deck that i learned to read with i have so many of them and i don't really i can't find them as much as i used to very amazing deck the stories the history the beauty of it is very powerful to read with also i use these a lot in my personal readings okay we are going aries to pisces your lucky days so far the second the fourth the oh no sorry the second the fifth the seventh the eighth 16th 17th and 25th number 888 taurus you are not sure if you want to start over Aries says, let's do this, okay? The solution is proceed with caution, okay? Proceed with caution. Someone's being a little, a little froggy, all right? The fourth could be important. You are the moon reverse. You are, you are not about the shenanigans. And the other Taurus is a little bit unsure of the situation. We have to be strong in our decisions and we have to put our foot down. The new moon in Leo could be very important for you. The 16th is important. We don't know what to do. Gemini says, let's do it. <laughs> Gemini's like, what? We can do this. 
Take your time. There's also a false sense of peace in this situation, a major decision. We don't have to rush it, okay? This second could be important. You feel like something is being neglected. You're tired of that energy being neglected. It could be your emotions. And Cancer says, let's get married. Let's take our relationship to the higher power, okay? But there's no passion. So I feel like there's a lot of commitment, but maybe not enough passion. The 12th could be important. All right, you are all in love, in love, baby. You was all up in your feelers, very nurturing, caring, and divine. And Leo is like, I'm single. We gotta get we gotta get them stable. We gotta get we gotta let them know. We gotta let them know, like baby, you can't have all this love if you can't commit. Okay, <laughs> the fourth could be important. Here we are. We're praying to a spirit guide. Okay, we're praying, especially there's that deer again. There is something with the elk or the deer that's coming through, and that's usually with family. Okay, so have a lot of boundaries with family this month. <coughs> Virgo is not Virgoing with you. They don't even want you in their business. It's not moving anywhere. We're also stuck. Okay, we're stuck. The wheel is reversed, especially after a trip. Taurus and Virgo may not be talking. Okay, you need to spend some time with your friends. You need to go out. You need to enjoy yourself. Taurus, you ready to talk, 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 talk. And Libra is not trusting their intuition. They feel like there's something being hidden. We have got to be honest and really stick to our commitments and the truth. Okay, your lucky day is the third. We are tired of fighting with the five of wands reversed. And Scorpio is stuck. They feel like there's no winning in this situation and we're not even talking right now. The solution is the ninth. The solution. The day is the ninth. Here you are, you are like, I'm done, I've changed, I'm amazing, okay? And Sagittarius is out of love. They're also being emotionally manipulative, okay? I'm being a little bit aware, but there is a lot of love there. So I do feel like this is a very emotional relationship. Uh, the 19th could be important. You feel like there's way too many red flags, and Capricorn sees you as their soulmate. They're planning their future with you. They love you. <laughs> the six is important. Here you are with the eight of pentacles reversed. You feel like something's not working. We don't have teamwork to make the dream work. And Aquarius is like, there's no foundation. We're not celebrating. We need to have a good conversation. We need to talk about it, okay? The third could be important. You are finding balance. You're feeling good about it, making changes. And Pisces is out of love. And there they are because they're not grounded. They don't know what to do. They, they, they're playing games with your heart, baby. Okay. And the date is the third. So overall energy for all of us is the four of swords. This is about taking a break, not jumping to any hasty decisions. All right. With that being said, come hang out with me on Instagram. I hope you have a beautiful month. Stay tuned for career reads and let's see what else happens this month. Take care.